about them. So Ilu is a PhD candidate in LCLE. She has a master's in TESOL of polylinguistics as well as Chinese language pedagogy. Uh, her interests are in language, Chinese language pedagogy, Chinese as a foreign and second language, reading strategies, and language assessment. And the last couple of years she's been teaching Chinese at the Department of East Asian Languages and Cultures and Chinese flagship institute since 2009, right, here in IU. Pei Shen is also a PhD candidate in LCLE. Uh, she has a master's in LCLE here at IU. And she will be receiving her second master's in Chinese pedagogy in Asian, East Asian Languages and Cultures Department. All right. Uh, her acad academic interests include curriculum design, Chinese pedagogy, language learning for Chinese heritage students. All right, so without further ado. Okay, uh, good afternoon. Thank you for coming today. Today, uh, Evelyn and I are going to present a topic, a project that we did in like a year ago in a seminar class. And, but at that time, we only had four participants. So we decided to recruit more participants within these years. And now we are really happy to see some significant differences result in our data. So this is our topic, uh, online reading strategy used among CFL learners. So CFL learners here refers to learners who learn Chinese as a foreign language. So uh, because the fast development of technology, uh, it's easier for people to get access, uh, access internet these days. So online reading has become an issue for discussion in the educational field, and more particularly in English as a second or foreign language. In other words, there are relatively fewer studies in Chinese online reading comprehension, and particularly the online reading process of CFO readers is an important but unexplored area in online reading research. Uh, we found that pr in previous study, there are many studies indicate that online English reading have a positive effect on readers' learning motivation, academic achievement, and reading skills. And as a, a Chinese instructor, so we were wondering whether this positive effect can be applied to those uh, learners who learn Chinese as a foreign language. So we come up two research questions. The first one is, what online reading strategy do CFL learners use in learning Chinese? And second, we, will want, we, we want to know what are the differences of online reading strategy that CFL learners use in L1 and L2. OK, so before I talk about our methodology, I want to introduce this survey, online survey of reading strategy. Uh, it's adapted from uh, Moktari and Shuris 2002 by Anderson 2003. And it aims to examine ESL and the EFL students' different use of metacognitive online reading strategies. And there are three main types of reading strategy in this survey. The first one is the global reading strategies, which are intentionally carefully planned techniques by which learners monitor or manage their reading, such as having a purpose in mind or uh, previewing the length or organization of the test. Or um, <clears throat> as for the second one, problem solving strategies are the actions, procedures that readers use while working directly with the test, such as guessing the unknown meaning of uh, the unknown words, or uh, like adjusting the speed, or like rereading to improve their comprehension. And the third one is a support reading strategy, are the basic support mechanism intended to aid the reader in comprehending the test, such as using a dictionary or note taking or underlying the uh, important information. Okay. So our methods, uh, we have the 70, uh, 17 advanced Chinese learners at IU. Um, their age range from 19 to 24. They have learned Chinese for at least three years in the United States. And also they uh, have had the chance to study abroad uh, in China during summer for immersion uh, for intensive program. And also after their college education after IU, they will do uh, they will study and do internship in China. 
So you can see how they are committed to Chinese language. And we have three instruments in our study. The first one is the old source, just as I mentioned before. So participants were asked to read each statement and circle the number that applies to their use of the reading strategy from uh, 1 to 5, the Likert scale. 1 means never and 5, to five is always in both L1 and L2 contests. But participants didn't need to do the number 35 to number 37 in L1 contests because these three items are only applicable to uh, L2 contests because they are like the translation or thinking about information in English or Chinese. And the second instrument is Think a Lot Protocol, just Pongjila mentioned. So participants will say out loud what they are thinking when they reading, uh, when they are reading, and they also describe what strategy they use and how they use these strategies. And for the <coughs> the reading material for Think Aloud Protocol is from their uh, fourth year Chinese textbook. Uh, com uh, it has uh, twelve hundred <coughs> Chinese characters, including some written Chinese language and also Asian Chinese texts and idioms. And six comprehension questions follow up the test. The third one, after thinking a uh, think a lot protocol, we did some follow up interview. Uh, at this time, we focus on uh, uh, their uh, similarity or differences of L1 and L2 strategy use of online reading. Okay, here comes our result. Okay. So the results from question one, what online reading strategy do CFO learners use in learning Chinese? And we found that, uh, we found that uh, CFO learners use the problem solving reading strategy more than global strategy than support reading strategy. And this result is consistent <coughs> with the Anderson's study. Uh, which indicate that EFL learners will more frequently use problem solving strategy during the online reading process. So it's interest, interesting to know that both CFL learners and EFL learners, they use the problem solving strategy the most. So we, and then we go one step further to find, to look at like uh, what problem solve strategy they use most. And we find that CFL learners um, pay close attention to what they are reading when online uh, texts become difficult. And also they try to get back on track when they lose con concentration. And it tr they try to adjust their reading speed and read slowly and carefully to make sure uh, they understand what they are reading online. And we found one uh, participant he even defined that a Chinese, a good Chinese reader <coughs> is a reader who read text carefully and slowly. And another participant saying that when he find dictionary cannot help him solve the problem, he usually slowly read the sentence several several times. And also by doing that, by reading uh, text uh, multiple times, uh, it can help several learners to first read, uh, understand the brief idea of the text and second to uh, look up the examples like Chinese slangs or difficult words in, dictionary, uh, in dictionary. And as for the global strategy, uh, we found that CFL learners uh, use context clues to help them better understand what they are reading online. And those context clues include the keywords reading question and also the uh, topic sentence in the, uh, in the each uh, paragraph. And it's interesting that one um, participant pointed out that he found that pre-reading pre -reading question help him understand the article but also restrict him to look for the specific answers. So uh, when the CFL learners uh, Chinese proficiency getting higher and higher it seems that pre-reading question does help them, but also restrict their thinking process. And also, they found uh, we found that several learners uh, like to use uh, what they know, what they already know, to help them understand what they read online. Like this participant point out, uh, he tried to jump over a lot of words that he doesn't know 
because in the short term he is really uh, it's really helpful if he need to look up every word that he doesn't know uh, that take long time so uh, he will just use um, what he know to help understand what he doesn't know but in the when he read online text. And as for the supposed reading strategy, we found that all of the participants use reference materials, for example, an online dictionary, to help them understand what they read online. And it's interesting that we found one participant, he even tried to look up the original quotes of the ancient Chinese proverb on the text when he do the thinking aloud protocols. And also, we were wondering like when CFO <coughs> learners use um, reference material, whether those material is in English or in Chinese. And we found most of participants, it's like this participant point out that he, she will search the re reference material in English and to see if, he, if, if the material is clear understand is it uh, is understandable, and but when she is trying to look up the Chinese definition, she will uh, definitely search the search the material in Chinese like Baidu. Baidu is a Chinese search in, search engine. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So for the results for research question, two, what are the differences of online reading strategies that these learners use in L1 and L2? So uh, you, as you can see in this table, you can see participants use more global and problem-solving reading strategies in L1 contests than in L2. However, participants use more uh, support strategies in L2 contests than in L1. And this result, our result is consistent with Token Logo's study. And also we ran some pair sample t-test to see if there's uh, any significant difference between the mean difference of these t different types of reading strategies. And we found, yes, uh, there are two. Uh, one is that participants use significantly more um, uh, global reading strategies uh, than in support reading strategies in English contests. Um, as for support reading strategies, uh, participants use statistically significant more um, uh, L2 contest than in L1 contest. And then we look into the details to see uh, if there are any other items that have significant mean difference between L1 and L2. We found these four items. Uh, two belong to problem solving and two from support reading strategies. So you can see that uh, participants use more prob uh, these two problem solving reading strategies. Uh, our interview data also support this result because uh, several uh, participants also mentioned that they have difficult uh, time checking with which Chinese website is reliable or not. Um, but however, they have the ability to judge whether English website is reliable or not. Therefore, they tend to look for a size that cover both sides of an issue in English. However, they tend not to do that in when they read Chinese tests because they not they are not so sure if Chinese website are reliable or not. And for support reading strategies, uh, participants tend to use tend to print out a hard copy and then underline or circle information. Several participants also mentioned that they tend to do that for academic purpose because it is easier for them to underline the test or write down pinyin. Pinyin is the romanization in pronunciation in Chinese. Also tone and the English translation on the sides. But they usually do not do that uh, when they read English. For the last one, uh, all participants circle five. They always do that. Um, several participants also mentioned that because it is easier for them to look up the vocabulary or sentence pattern, even though they don't know how to pronounce that, they just copy and pass the online test and uh, to the online dictionary software, and boom, they can find the, uh, the definition or the meaning of those words. Yeah, that's it.